Okay, we understand why water in the, in the bucket in this location here is going to stay in the bottom of the bucket. Uh, you will have its weight force will be acting down, but um, there will be a reaction force acting upwards um, from the bucket on the water. Once it starts moving though, it will have a velocity, and once it's got a velocity, it will also have inertia. So when it's at the top of its um, circular journey, as it's going around, as a person swinging it around, it will have a velocity tangential to uh, the circle which it's travelling through. Now if that's the velocity it has, if the bucket suddenly disappeared at that point, the water would keep travelling in a straight line. The bucket doesn't disappear at that point. What will happen is that the bucket will continue to move down. Now the bucket is providing a force inwards. The bucket pushes the water away from the path that it should have followed. So in essence, at this point the water wouldn't have fallen straight down, it would have continued here and then followed a parabolic path and eventually fell down. But because the bucket is constantly pushing it toward the center of the circle, the water will follow a circular path with the bucket and will not fall out of the bucket.